All right, guys, so you have just bought yourself a WPSC8 120 amp ESC from Hobby Wing. You've plugged it all up, the battery is all perfect, your motor wires are fine, your receipt is plugged in sweet. Remember, remember, one to turn, two to burn, so your acceleration should be on channel two. You've plugged it all up, you go for your first hit, and nothing happens. Nothing at all. Guys, this is a real common thing well, with the hobby wing, especially. Doesn't matter all the hobby wings, they're not all calibrated, guys, from factory. So, even though they're a plug and play ESC, you still have to reset your throttle positioning points. How do you do that? So, what you want to do, turn that off. Turn this off. Turn on that. So, you want to turn your radio on. Then, Using this little button right here, the little top one, just there, you want to hold that down and then turn on your ESC and let go. Then you want to press the button to stop that. I'm just going to put the phone down here because I need to show you guys how to fix this. Right. First thing you need to do, you need to get your neutral position on your stick. So, what you have to do is you got to just pull either way and then let go. Now you press the button once and you should have a green, you can't see it because of the way the ESC is sitting, but you should have a green light flash. Now we're going to set your throttle so the car goes forward. So you want to hold it down. Press, can you hear that? And you let go. So that should flash twice and beep. Now you want to hold the reverse, so you want to push your throttle up. Hold the button again. And then let go. So the button I'm talking about is the little button here, just the small one. Now you can turn off your ESC. Turn it all back on. Now you should have throttle. You should also have your reverse and your brake. So I'll go again. And that, guys, is how you get the ESC to get accelerator, brake and reverse. Very common issue guys. I just thought I'd make a quick video on this just to show you guys how to fix it because it is annoying and there's not too many videos or information out there but the instructions are in the white paper which is here and it also tells you very clearly how to fix it. All right, guys, that's it for the video. Don't forget to like, share, subscribe, and I'll see you on the next video.